A news update for you. The family of a St. Joseph volunteer firefighter, Parkland College student, and Tatman's towing driver got a small sense of closure in court. Ross Booker was a month away from his 21st birthday when he was hit by another driver and later died at the hospital. Today, two months later, the court decided the 16-year-old driver would lose his license. WCI3's Renee Cooper was in court this afternoon, so Renee, Booker's death helped raise awareness to move over for first responders on the side of the road. That's right, McLeod. Booker's family and Tatman's Towing have been calling attention to Scott's Law ever since he was fatally hit while cleaning up the roadway following an earlier accident right at that same intersection. That law says drivers have to slow down and move over for emergency vehicles and first responders like Booker. Now, today, the prosecution revealed that the crash was not a Scott's Law violation after all. Now, dash cam video from the scene at South Neela Street and Windsor Road in Champaign shows the 16-year-old was driving in the proper lane that police left open to throw traffic. That charge was dropped, and instead, the teenager was convicted of failure to reduce speed to avoid an accident. That's a petty offense. The state's attorney says even though police records show he wasn't speeding, he should have slowed down at the, quote, chaotic intersection. We are glad that there will not be court supervision. That was a win for us. That was a win for Ross, and he deserved a win. There's nothing in the traffic law that elevates what we call a petty offense, a fine-only offense, up to a higher class of offense because of a fatality. It's just not covered by Illinois law. Some states do have laws that would bring a traffic offense up to a criminal charge if it resulted in great bodily harm. As it stands in Illinois, it can only come with a fine and a revoked license. Now, I asked the state's attorney if that's a conversation worth revisiting with the legislature. More of that is going to be up online momentarily. Now, coming up at 6, Ross Booger's parents will tell us all about who he was and who he was going to be. Live in the newsroom, I'm Renee Cooper, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Renee, thank you so much. And we want to remind people there's still plenty of time to donate to Operation Honor Guard. We have several sites set up, and you can also donate online.